La radio des classiques du rock et de la pop. Hello, this is Thomas from Korpiklani, Finland, and you're listening to Classic 21. Stay tuned. Korpiklani est un des grands représentants de ce qu'on appelle aujourd'hui le, le folk euh, metal. Ça veut tout dire et, et, et rien dire, euh, évidemment. Alors, euh, quelle est la, la façon particulière dont Corpiclani va agencer l'univers folk avec l'univers euh, metal uh, Which is your own way to, to, to mix uh, traditional uh, music in one part and uh, the universe of heavy metal in another part Do, do you mean the mix of folk uh, and, yeah. and the metal? Well, well, our style is pretty much uh, born in the way that we are a metal band, but the way we approach metal is the same that we would approach folk music. So, so we, we are a happy band, you know. We, it's all about dancing and having a lot of fun and being together and, and uh, those kind of a things. So we, we aren't... We aren't playing for for death or playing for pain or anything like that we we're playing for the same same reasons and for the same things as the folk musicians play but the music we play is just quite a bit heavier so that's that's our our way of going donc musicalement c'est d'abord un groupe metal Corpiclani mais la manière d'envisager de, de, le, le metal est celle d'un groupe folk et donc euh, ben, la manière prioritaire d'un groupe folk c'est qu'on ne parle pas trop de, de douleur et de, de souffrance mais plutôt de, de bonheur, de, de plaisir, de, faire danser les gens. Faire danser, d'être de la joie simplement, d'être tous ensemble. But technically donc euh, techniquement, ce n'est pas toujours évident de, de mélanger des instruments traditionnels avec des, des instruments électriques. Euh, Technically, uh, how, how do you choose to, to mix uh, acoustic instruments, all the traditional instruments, and modern electric instruments Well, it's of course, it's a challenge, because... Uh, Like uh, to play with an acoustic accordion or acoustic violin in, in, in this environment, it's just impossible. It's impossible to mix. So, so uh, I'm really happy now with the, I have a new bridge electroacoustic violin that actually gives me some of the feel of, of an acoustic violin, even though it's an electric one. But it's still a much better choice than what, what we were using in Korpiklani before. The, the normal electric violin that doesn't have that folky feel to it and also the accordion it's it's a modern modern version of an accordion which is is totally digital but uh, our new accordion player actually has has a, has i don't know how you call that in english but has a traditional style of an accordion so it's not like a piano with the piano keys but with the buttons So uh, he actually can play a much uh, folkier feel towards uh, through through that instrument. So, uh, but technically, it's it's challenging. It's also in the mix when we do the CDs. Uh, oftentimes, you know, the heavy heavy distortion guitars they they take a lot of the range. So, so a lot of the range is already taken. And if you, if I if I play the violins only in the high registers, it it would sound different so it's it's a lot of work to find that balance and and make it work but uh, i think manala album actually came out quite good and i hope that the next album and the next album will improve to make this balance even better but i think all the folk metal bands i think all of them struggle with this like like but we play everything live We don't have any background uh, tapes that some other folk metal bands use. We we do everything live and by ourselves. Bah, en gros, c'est toujours un challenge, effectivement, d'arriver à, à mixer des instruments traditionnels avec des, des instruments euh, électriques. Pour bon, le violon purement acoustique, par exemple, c'est pas possible. Donc forcément, ils contournent l'obstacle euh, en faisant de l'électro-acoustique, euh, comme ils disent. 
Donc forcément, il y a de l'amplification sur les instruments traditionnels. Avec l'accordéon, c'est la, la même chose. Mais par contre, la manière de jouer euh, de ces instruments traditionnels, même trafiqués, elle reste euh, traditionnelle comme, comme s'il s'agissait d'un groupe de, de folk. Mais il dit que oui, c'est un boulot euh, énorme de, de faire la, la balance et que à bah, chaque album, ils essaient de, de, de progresser dans le domaine. Mais qu'en fait, aussi, c'est un problème commun à tous les groupes de, de folk metal. Et préciser également qu'en live, il n'y a absolument aucun sample, aucun, euh, aucun ajout. C'est entièrement du live, ce qui n'est pas le cas de tous les groupes qui mixent le folk et euh, le hard rock 